Okay guys, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College's Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is ET 121 Digital One. If you are not laughing at this joke, I suggest you go back and review the binary uh, video I just put together. Okay, we are going to talk about decimal to binary conversion. Uh, we did some binary to decimal, but now we're going to do decimal to binary. Okay. So there are two major ways of doing this. Uh, basically, number one is the sum of weights. And the second method is repeated division by two. The way I like to think about it is table, memory, and this is kind of a, uh, let's see, uh, an algorithm to use a verb that you're familiar, noun you're familiar with. Okay, sum of weights. The reason why I call it kind of a table or memory um, method is basically you need to remember um, the weights. If we start so on sum of weights, if we remember 2 to 0, 2 to 1, 2 to 2, 2 to 3, 2 to 4, and so on and so forth. Um, by now you should be kind of familiar with these things. That's a 1, 2, 4, 8, and they just double as the time goes on. Um, and if you're going to remember a table, this is the table to remember. Um, they're very common numbers, you always see them in computers, and you're in a, in a computer-centric field, so you might as well start remembering them now. 512, 256, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Um, these are all pretty common numbers. The way you use the sum of weights is find the binary weights to, that add up to that decimal number you're interested in. So, for example, um, let's just 5. 5 is our example. What are the binary weights in this table over here that add up to 5? Well, it's pretty obvious it's 4 and 1. There's no 2's in there. It's 4 plus 1, so there's no 2's. So that means it's 2 to the 2, well, excuse me, 1 times 2 to the 2, plus 0 times 2 to the 1, plus 1 times 2 to the 0. Remember, it is a 1. So it's 1, 0, oh, 1. That's the binary equivalent of 5. Okay? So it's making use of this of this table right here um, that add up to that decimal number. And again, there's a super easy hint. Hint. If the number is odd, the decimal number you're interested in, got to use 2 to the 0 equals 1. So anytime it's odd, you're always going to have this here. So that makes sense. 5 is an odd number. You're going to see this 2 to the 0 power. And you're going to see that 1 at the end. Okay? So let's do um, 30. Okay. It's not odd, so we're not going to use this guy right here. So. What are the sum of the weights here? So we have, well, let's start off at 32. Well, 32 does not add, add up to 30. So there's nothing in 32, if I remember right, it goes right here, 2 to the 5, 32. So there's nothing in the 2 to the 5 spot. You may not even, just don't even include that. But there is something in that 2 to the 4 spot. That's the 16. So let's start. Okay, so 2 to the 4, there's a 1 in there. So we go to 16, and now we've got to remember it's the sum of the weights. 16 plus 14, we've already accounted for that. 16 now, the 16 plus 14, is equal to 30. We've already accounted for the 16, so now where's our 14? Okay, so let's go for our 14. 14, is, there's an 8 in 14. So there's an 8, so 14 equals 8 plus 6. 
is our 8. Leaving us 6. So then what's in our 6? Our 6, we've got a 4 and a 2. Oops. So there's a 4 in there, leaving us 2, and then a 2, leaving us 0. So we have our 4, which is a 2 to the 2, 1, 2 to the 1, 1, 0. That's how you represent 30. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Combined. So again, some of the weights is basically just walk through the table. 30, um, it's not 32, can't be 32, so there's got to be a 16 there, leaving you 14. In 14, there's an 8, leaving you 6. In 6, there's a 4, leaving you 2. In 2, there's a 2, leaving you 0. Okay, so that's the sum of weights. Just kind of using a table um, and your memory, adding them up, adding up the binary weights that add up to that number. Not exactly the most useful method for super large numbers. So let's talk about that. Uh, using an algorithm, something a computer can do. Okay, so like I said, sum of weights rely on memorization of the table. What about very large numbers? Basically, you're going to use the repeated division by two method. Okay, so repeated division by two, all you do is take the number of interest, divide by 2, hence the name. Basically, use the remainders to form the binary equivalent from LSB to MSB. Got it? It's got to go in that direction. Okay, I'll show you how to do it. Um, let's see, 55. Okay, so remember, LSB to MSB. So LSB is the, the one that's closest to the decimal place. 55 is odd. What do you think it's going to be? So it's going to be a 1. So let's check our work here. So 55 divided by 2 is equal to 27 remainder 1. Oh my gosh. Our least significant bis <laughs> least significant bit is 1. 2 to the 0. So 2 to the 0 gets a weight of 1. So remember, it's odd. So we checked our work. You know, okay. So remainder 1. Now we got to keep on going. 27 divided by 2 is equal to 13 remainder 1. So that goes there. Now, take 13, divide by 2. That's equal to 6. Remainder 1. There's our 1. And it's going to be 6 divided by 2. It's going to be 3 remainder 0. So now what do you do? Take the remainder. Just do exactly what we've been doing here. Take the remainder, pushing it over. That's zero. So now, three divided by two is equal to one. Remainder one. One. And then take our one. One divided by two. How many times does it go in? It goes in zero times. Remainder one. Stop. Okay? So anytime, this is the key thing. When you get the zero there, stop. So now that's the MS.